What's up, survivors? Welcome to The Kelly Show. We are super pumped to reveal some exciting new optimizations for the new patch. First up, major makeovers to the characters and pets systems. From this patch onwards, characters can be purchased using gold right when they become available. Previously, you had to wait 30 days until a new character is in Link, and then grind for another few weeks to unlock it. Characters and pets will no longer depend on their levels. This means that they all unlock with the maximum possible potential, enabling you to freely mix and match different skill combos. We also have a brand new battle preset interface that incorporates characters and pets, so you can now select skills more conveniently. This new system also supports designating presets for Battle Royale and Clash Squad modes. And for those who love diversity, you can now configure and switch among more than two presets. Next, we're psyched to present Awakened Alvaro. The Demolitionist is back with a bang with his Awakened skill that can split a grenade into pieces, meaning that you get multiple explosions with just one bomb. By the way, there's going to be a movie about his story and an event to celebrate his awakening. Make sure to check them out. Alongside Alvaro's awakening, we have a new member in the Free Fire family, Orion. With his biotech arm, he is on a journey to become stronger and eventually avenge his parents. We're super excited to see how his skill will contribute to your gameplay. Moving on to Clash Squad updates, protection points will place further emphasis on match performance, such as winning streaks and MVP, and no longer be a rigid 100. Better yet, the extra protection points now convert into stars. This means if you continuously earn points, the extra points earn you stars, enabling you to rank up more smoothly. We all love the daily challenge points in Battle Royale mode, during which your first daily booyah earns you extra points. The same perk is finally in Clash Squad. You will now earn extra protection points for your daily booyah in this mode. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely staying up late on patch day for a Clash Squad marathon. As for the next season's reward, it's the Golden Mini Uzi. We also have an exciting addition to Battle Royale matches that will get you and your enemies working together. Curious? Let's find out what it is. Each Battle Royale match will now have a quest, which is visible to all players in the match. From accumulating elimination counts to spending FF coins, all 50 survivors in the match will be rewarded for indirectly collaborating with one another. Quests vary from match to match. Depending on the quest completion, an event will take place during the match. It could be perks like a sale at vending machines. I guess sometimes your enemy could be your friend. Next, the Super Revival card. Remember the nerve-wracking moments after post-revival landing when enemies are everywhere but you have no gun? In this patch, your teammate can give you a hand right when they revive you with Super Revival. Purchased from the vending machine, this special type of revival gives you better loot so that you won't have to start from square one. We've also optimized the revival interface so that navigation is easier during an intense combat. Any map changes, you ask? You bet! Mill and Pochinok in Bermuda went through a layout change to balance out the competitive advantages of the two teams, as previously, one side had a better winning chance than the other. Guard towers have been reworked since they're the perfect hiding spot for sneak attacks. The metal panels have been replaced by bars, which are see-through and can be passed through for escaping. Let's talk modes. Triple Wolves is our exclusive six-person duo mode on the Frosty Ice Ground. Inspired by our popular Lone Wolf mode, this new gameplay forces all three parties to fight in a dog-eat-dog -dog mayhem. Summon your best pal and dive into this intense battle. As for pets, remember our previous quirky modes, Pet Mania and Pet Rumble? Now we're adding the brand new Pet Smash mode to the series. This mode differs from our usual gameplay style, as it features a bird's eye view. And best of all, you get to fight as your favorite companion. Each pet will have a different skill, which is dissimilar from its default version in the classic pet system. The skills themselves have unique advantages, so choose wisely 
and watch your cute buddy in action. Our last topic for today is the auto-aim on knocked down enemies. We understand how frustrating it could get when enemies swarm towards you and you take the first one down instantly, but your aim at the second enemy is automatically directed at the one you just knocked down. We now adjust your aim priority such that your weapon will more likely aim at an enemy that is alive. Other gameplay optimizations include returning to sprint mode after using a melee weapon, enabling firing while falling down and reducing stagger, and voila! That's it for this episode. Before you leave, do let me know which update you're most excited about in the comments below. 